So my friend gave me this random styrofoam box. I really had no idea what was inside, and I bet none of you can guess it either. Go ahead, pause this video, and put your best guesses in. All right, done. It's a Doug Trio meme. Picasso. And that was a crazy surprise I never would have guessed. I see you trying to edit your comments. Don't even think about it. Now, this Doug Trio meme is special and close to my heart. It represents true brotherhood and how as brothers from another mother's, we should all care and embrace each other. Are you really a bro with someone if you're not hugging each other goodnight? Think about it for a minute. How are you showing your bros some love? It even comes with this planter pot so that when people who aren't super close to you come over, you can cover it up and pretend like you're a normal person and not weird at all. It's just the Doug Trio, nothing to see here. Okay, I hate styrofoam as much as the next sea turtle, but I'm not about to commit marine murder by throwing this away. One singular styrofoam box like this has the capacity to incapacitate up to five sea turtles, 12 dolphins, seven pufferfish, and three users of the six eyes. So with my galaxy brain, I hatched an idea. I look over at my Endler's library tank and they're just having gross amounts of like if Jesus saw this, he would not like it. None of them are married, but all of them are baptized for some reason, and the shrimp are getting it on as well. The Malaysian trumpet snails are just doing it by themselves the whole time. The water in this tank is barely water anymore at this point. What? So I decided, hey, it's about to get way too crowded in here. So why don't I make a baby fish sanctuary instead of just throwing it away? That way, the kids won't get scarred by their parents and swim into something they shouldn't have swam into in the middle of the night. Catching these little endler fry was actually a very enjoyable experience. It brought me back to the days of my childhood, where my dad would take me out to a pond and we'd catch little tadpoles together with a fishnet. Here's me trying to get a cringe video for Instagram. So I'm looking into my stockpile of fish tank resources and I really want to keep the sanctuary simple and spacious, but functional as well. I chose mostly lava rock for their porous structure that can substitute for the substrate and filter in terms of beneficial bacteria colony growth. And I also threw in some existing rocks from the Endler's tank to kickstart the system. I transferred most of the water from that system as well. It feels so refreshing and freeing to just pour water into the tank without a care in the world for disrupting any aquascape. No saran wrap or small plate needed. Now, I'm on the hunt for some floater plants, which will boost the environment significantly with nutrients and waste uptake and increase in beneficial bacteria. This is probably the key to the baby fish sanctuary. It even provides cover and comfort loved by smaller, younger fish. Good thing I have so much of it everywhere in my fish room. It's time to put the babies into their new sanctuary. This is always one of my favorite parts, introducing the fish into their new home. The only thing missing now is some pothos over the top. Okay, I don't actually like the look of that. Give them a quick snack. If they eat, then it's an awesome sign that they're healthy and unaffected by the change in environment. Oh look! They're eating. We did good, fam. This video isn't sponsored, and there's not even an affiliate link in the comments. I just love how versatile these foods are. Small enough even for fry to eat. Hands down my favorite food. Man, these fish are so cute. I just wanna... It's the next day. Don't worry, I did not leave this covering on or anything, that was just for the video. The fishies are doing good, no overnight mortalities. If you have some endlers or libraries of your own, another reason why you might want to start a separate tank or a grow out tank is because you can create stronger genetics in your fish room. Most living things in this world, except for people in Alabama, have evolved some form of dispersal tactic in their biology to inhibit inbreeding because inbreeding weakens genetics. It's the same reason you can never be physically attracted to your parents or siblings, and if you create two or more separated colonies of live bearers and then introduce them later on, this diversifies their gene pool and creates stronger fish. I could go on for hours about this topic, but it might be boring for some of you. Anyway, you might have thought the message of this video is to save sea turtles and recycle your styrofoam, but actually, it's to tell you to stop getting English bulldogs or supporting the breeding of English bulldogs. Thank you. See you next time.